Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple login system in Visual Basic 2008. So first of all we're going to start a new Windows Form application and you can call it whatever you like. And I'll call my new tube login. Once this is done, resize the form to about this size and then we're going to be putting in two text boxes and resize them to labels label there's one and put them there and you're going to do the first one as username and the second one as password okay and then we're going to be putting in two buttons one there one there this one's going to be cancel this one's going to be login. So now what we're going to do is on the password, you're going to do password, no, use system password char, just click true. Then in Solution Explorer, double click on my project, go to settings, and we're going to create two new settings, user and Pass, and we, you can just call use these whatever you want. So I'll just call this Mani, and that one just password. Okay, these you cannot change unless you create a form once you've created the main login system to change it, and I'll show you how to do this after you've made the login so what you want to do is on login go down so enabled equals false and we'll just do cancel first so double click on it and do me dot close Whoops. and then what we're going to do is also for the second text box to do enabled equals false then double click on the first one and then type if textbox one dot te text is equal to my dot setting settings dot user then textbox two dot enabled equals true else text box two dot enabled equals false and then do the same for the next one apart from instead of text box two dot enabled it is button one my dot settings dot pass then button one dot enabled equals true else button one dot enabled equals false okay so now we're just going to script this one which is going to be which is going to be form two got dot show but we need to create that form first so just create a new form which is going to be form2 and then do form2.show and if we debug the program you can see the login button and the password you can't type so if I type in mainly I can now type in my password which is password on this 
and as you can see it has the dots like your system one and if you put the caps lock on it's warning you which is better to use the system one then if you click login it does that okay what you might also want to add is me dot close which closes that form now in form 2 I'm going to show you how to change the password so what you're going to do is you're going to add a text box two text boxes and two labels okay and this one you don't need to do put straight after your login you could put it anywhere afterwards if you're going that one to the text to current password and this one to new password resize these okay and on both of them use system password jar true true and then one button change the text of this to change Oops. okay so this one enabled equals false enabled on that is false so double click on that and type if text box one dot text is equal to my dot settings dot pass then text box two dot enabled equals true else text box two dot enabled equals false for this one it is exactly the same but actually it isn't um sorry that and also after you've done this it's also button one dot enabled equals true and button one dot enabled equals false and you don't need anything for text box two and for change double click and they do my dot settings dot pass is equal to text box two dot text my dot settings dot save there you go so right now we're going to debug the program so we need to type in my username and password and if I click login oh no we we need to go to your thing your my project in applications shutdown mode when last form closes okay now it should work many password login now form 2 shows current password if I type it in and then I can type it in change so now if I close the application and run it again oops now the password has been changed now, now I can log in for the second form it could be your application then the change password could be in the properties options menu but this is just to show you how to create a simple login please comment, rate and subscribe thank you